Hi everyone. We're going to talk about this ultrasonic turbine wash device. And if you are the type of person that you don't have an actual washer in the house, this video may be for you. However, those of you who do have washers, if you need like a secondary washer, this video also can be for you as well too. So, here's how the box looks. And something that's really interesting about the box is that the instructions are wrapped around the box. And let's look at that right now. So, looking at the box, how it is, and how complete it is, don't let this box fool you. And I'll show you this once I'm done viewing the box. Also, another thing, keep in mind that I did unbox this product, so the product is not in the box. It's outside waiting for me to use it. And just as a quick disclosure, this video is on a consumer level. If you're looking for a professional opinion in order to see how this works with specs and all that other good old duty bells and whistles that you need to know my best recommendation is to click out of the video and watch it elsewhere but this is just something that I just want to share with the rest of you if you care just to view how an average consumer can use this product to get things going right away all right, so let's get started. The box. This is how the box looks like. Don't let this thing fool you. Anyways, it looks big. And in fact, the picture looks bigger than the device itself. So, we look on all six sides of the box. Actually, five sides because, eh, there's nothing in the bottom. So, we look on all five sides of this. And as you can see, going towards, going from the top to the front um, these are the type of clothes that this little device is capable of washing so don't take your pants or heavy-duty jeans or humongous blankets that thinking that this thing is going to be able to do this this is just something for you to agitate the water and this is what this is capable of agitating the water with all right so let's go to the other side of the box this this is the um, technical parameters of the device if you care to pause you can and as you can see right over here we got some various symbols of what this machine is all about and we have right over here on the fourth side of the box from the top to read the instructions carefully and blah 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 you know just warranty information here now as I open the box it's strikingly interesting that these people do not include an instruction manual this is the instruction manual how to operate the device and what we're gonna do is of course I'm gonna pause the video and you're gonna see this in operation. And the reason being is because I need to read the instructions that are in here. This is the first time that I come in contact with this device because I went on eBay and I purchased this right at the, um, the end of December. So we're gonna go with this together and any mistakes or flaws that there are, well, you know what? This is just an average consumer video. So I tell you in advance, excuse the things I do. All right. So here we go. The instruction manual on how to operate the machine. So let me just show this just how it looks. And this is as you open the box. It's quite amazing, huh? So if you care to pause, go and do so. All right. Now that that's over, we open up the flap here, which I got to see if I can start taking some pictures of this myself. I can uh, keep my copy of things here and just watch how you pop that piece off anyways so we go further on into the box and the device that is in there I will show you that in a second so you're greeted with this hello right over here right 
And after that, as you open it on further, well, there's nothing inside the box. And when you look in the bottom of the box, there's nothing under there either. You would think this device is full of accessories, but it is not what you think that this might be. So anyways, that's how all this looks. Let's close everything up over here. And as we close everything up, let me just grab the device. Okay. This is how tiny the device looks like. Look at this. There's a box that is so big. And oh my goodness. I just did one of the most doofus things man has ever done. I just dropped the adapter in water. <laughs> I have to get another adapter to view that because that's, that's going to be no good now. That sucks. And it's a good thing that I did drop this in water because you're going to see why in a second. Because as you can see, the device is how it is. It looks smaller than the picture, as you can see. So, yeah, it's rather, well, maybe if you think about it, it's almost the actual size. But the device itself does have these suction cups. So you could put this in the bottom of, of a bucket or a sink, and it can be able to do its job with the suction cups that you see there in the bottom. And the, the most interesting thing is this does have a little wacky remote here this wacky wired remote that that has a single button so if you get up close over here it has a button that it seems that it's it's a power button but it's also a function button at the same time and as you can see with the light over here i don't know if the camera is able to pick up the letters i think it could kind of pick it up so you could kind of see the power button oh there we go yeah it's picking it up much better now so it's a power button, but it seems like as you press it, it cycles through A, B, C, and D. So with that said, I'm going to put this here to the side. I'm going to put this here. And when you open the box, don't expect to get a charger with this device because you're not getting anything. You're going to have to either go to the store or if you have a charger laying in your drawer catching dust somewhere, then you're going to have to probably dig up the charger and use it because this is a 5 volt device. So you could probably even connect this to your computer or laptop and you could probably do some washing in a bucket just by connecting this to a computer. I kind of think so because if it's, if it's able to connect to a, a, a little... USB socket, it's able to connect to a computer very well. Anyways, as you can see, the USB, it's, it's, a, it's a USB A plug that you can see right there. And that's how it's able to connect to the charger or the, or the power brick, as you can say, you can call it. And you're able to power this machine up. I gotta have to, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to get another power brick because I, this one, as you heard, found the water. So, when you buy the device, it's what you see there that's outside the box minus the power brick. Anyways, on with the video. On the floor, I have two buckets. There's one that's blue, the other one that's orange. In the blue bucket, we have the detergent ready for the shirt that I want to demonstrate this with. And in the orange bucket, we have just simply water so you can at least see how this device is able to agitate the water. Okay, time for takeoff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm getting ready to take the water agitator and stick it in the bucket so I can get things going. So it's plugged into the wall here in my kitchen. And yes, I got another power brick for the device. And I know the device works because, because I tried it out in the middle of pausing this video. That is the blessing of the magic of video editing. So that's awesome. Let's continue. So we have the device right over here. 
And what you do is, you take the device, you got to make sure that the, suck, that the suction cups right over here come in contact with the bucket. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to carefully bring it down and make sure that that comes in contact with the bucket that you see there below. Okay? So, it's, it has a firm grip to the bucket as I try to move it. So, that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Now, let me figure out how to dry my hands. And hopefully, I'll be able to um, use this device in operation, shall we? I'll be back. Now, for the ultimate test, let's see if we can get this sucker running to demonstrate it and see what it does as it agitates the water. Can't wait to see it. So here we go. So I've got the device plugged into the wall. And as you can see, the wire that comes from the wired remote right into the bucket, it looks like this thing is capable of taking um, one of those five gallon mop bucket buckets and you're able to put the agitator in there too. So, without further ado, let's take this thing and turn it on. And as you can see, with the remote right over here, like I mentioned previously, this single button that you see right over here, it's a power button, but you can also cycle from A through D. And the coolest thing about it was when I tested it out, which you're gonna see shortly, is that once you press the button, and as it cycles from A through D, those lights there above will light up. So we're gonna try this right now, so here we go. Um, let's just look at the remote interface and you can see, and you can get an idea on how this works. So here we go. So let's turn it on. This is A, B, C, and finally D. Now, once you saw that, let's look what the device is capable of doing here as this thing is in action, shall we? So here we go. I'm going to put the remote here so that it stays on screen. And we're all going to look at this together, shall we? Here we go. So I'm going to start with uh, the letter A. Wow. This is almost like having a blender in a way. Look, look how it's agitating the water. So that's A. Wow, it looks like it turns. This is pretty cool. I guess it, it has its, its own way of agitating the water, then it stops. So that's A, function A, function B. It seems like function B, um, the device is running a whole lot slower than what function A is doing. So, wow, look at that. Very nice. So let's see, function C. So the thing is vibrating. And then function D. Oh wow. The way this works, it, it seems to work kind of like the way those those um, air pumps work in an aquarium. Wow. I bet the fishes will probably have a lot of fun with this, but of course, we know this ain't for fishes. And um, so this is what function D does. Somehow it brings air in the water. I don't know. I don't know what to say about that, but that's... Um, Quite interesting, quite interesting. But I don't know exactly what these functions do. I know that function A and B does a lot of the agitating, but function C and D, I'll need to read the instructions. So as you can see, we're going through this together. So I don't exactly know exactly, exactly what those two functions do. So hopefully by the end of the video, I'll probably give an, an explanation of what function C, C and D does. With that said, we're gonna take this thing out of the bucket and we're going to put this under its test and I'm going to see if I can be able to 
put the shirt under function B because it is a delicate shirt. I mean, look how fast this thing is spinning. It's crazy. Anyways, with that said, we will be back and I'm going to see if I can put this in the blue bucket and see how this thing works with the shirt in there. I'll be right back. I needed to dig up the built-in instruction manual onto the box, but what I want to focus on is the area up here on the left. As you can see, here we have the cycles of the wired remote for the machine. So as you can see, A is for automatic. B is for turbine cleaning, C is for ultrasound, and D is bubble cleaning. And if we look at the parentheses down below, it says it's a 30 it takes 30 minutes to clean and 10 minutes to reboot after power outage. With that said, we're gonna look here and we have our bucket with the device submerged in it and ready to go and it's already plugged into the wall as you saw previously so as you can see now the functions they are starting to sound the way they should so so basically a for automatic b for turbine cleaning C for ultrasounds and D for bubble cleaning. All right. So with that said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a shirt and I'm going to put it into the device and I'm going to use the bubble cleaning cycle from there. Now, I'm not going to be too much minutes on to just watching the shirt here clean because it's just going to be a shirt so as i put the shirt into clean then that's when i'll be ending the video but just wanted to show you at least um, some of the functions that the machine does even though while it's submerged and it already has a detergent in there ready to go so let's see if i can go and grab that shirt and let's put this to use shall we my recommendation is one of the last things that you can do is before you get rid of the box, make sure you, you take the instruction manual. If you can get a PDF file, then that's good. You can do that. Or just shoot a picture of it and just keep this handy because you're going to need that because the remote doesn't have any of the lettering as you saw how the functions work. Anyway, with that said, I got a raggedy shirt here that I was using when I used to work. So we're going to take this. We're going to stick it in the bucket. And... We're going to let the machine over here do its thing, shall we? So with that said, I'm going to put this into the automatic washing and let's see this thing into action. Function A. Oh, you can tell the load on this thing. You know, I'll be right back. Because I don't think this machine is doing the job it's supposed to do. Alright, I'm back. So, keeping the device in the bottom of the bucket was a failure because it wasn't agitating the water like you saw previously. So, what I did was, according to the instructions that you saw, I took the device and I put it on the side of the bucket. Now, let's see how this device is going to work. And... Man, let's see if it'll do at least some function in here because, my God. Anyway, let's do function A, the automatic, and let's see how this will be. So, let's see what disaster this thing will bring up by putting it in the side of the bucket, as you see, as you see there. That, that white unit, that's the device itself. So, I'm going to put this in the, in the function A for automatic, and let's see how this thing is able to 
agitate the water with it being sideways. And interesting enough, the machine holds really good to the side of the bucket, as you can see right there, with its suction cup. So let's see how this thing is able to function, shall we? Oh, you gotta be freaking kidding me. This device is really stretched out. Oh my God. I think this device is normally meant for like if you have socks or whatever, that's where it works. But this thing is really taking load. Oh my God. Just listen to the load on this thing. <laughs> my God. It's like trying to... How can I ex how can I explain this? It's like it's like trying to it's like trying to pedal against the river in the the Grand Canyon for God's sakes! Oh my God, this poor thing is loading up. Anyway, this is some of the stuff that happens that you experience as a consumer. So, if I'm doing something wrong, and if you have a little agitator like this, please put it down in the comments below. I'd like to know because honestly. This thing sounds like it's it's in a really stressful load right now. Oh my god. <laughs> like really? Is that how this thing is supposed to work if you stick in a shirt? Because that's what the instructions said. Unless if you have a shirt maybe for like a one-year-old baby or something. That's what this thing is perfect for. But my god. Just listen to the load on this thing. This thing is stressed out. Oh my god. But if it's doing its job, then might as well just let it do its job. Anyways, with that said, I'm going to end the video right here. So with that said, as it is, I'm going to let the machine run as it is. And I'm going to end the video right over here. So if you haven't already, please follow the YouTube procedures such as subscribe, Ring that bell notification, like and dislike. This is 270 EHA19, simply saying, thank you for watching.